Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Today is Tuesday, 18th June, 2019. Welcome. Our God is a God of knowledge and wisdom. You are welcome to the light of His divine wisdom. Let us pray. Open our eyes, O Lord, we pray. The eyes of our hearts to the wisdom of your word of salvation and free us from every foolishness of heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Our text today is taken from Psalms chapter 14, verses 1 to 7. And I read, Fools say to themselves, There is no God. They are all corrupt, and they have done terrible things. There is no one who does what is right. The Lord looks down from heaven at mankind to see if there are any who are wise, any who worship him. But they have all gone wrong. They are all equally bad. Not one of them does what is right. Not a single one. Don't they know? Ask the Lord. Are all these evildoers ignorant? They live by robbing my people. And they never pray to me. But then they will be terrified. For God is with those who obey him. Evil doers frustrate the plans of the humble men, but the Lord is his protection. How I pray that victory will come to Israel from Zion. How happy the people of Israel will be when the Lord makes them prosperous again. Our topic today is titled The Fool at Heart. The Fool at Heart. What is foolishness? Conventionally, foolishness is lack of good sense or judgment. It is stupidity, foolhardiness, imbecility, silliness, inanity, lunacy, madness, rashness, recklessness, imprudence, injudiciousness, lack of caution, foresight, lack of sense, irrationality, illogicality, irresponsibility, thoughtlessness, indiscretion, and such like. In our commentary, we read thus, the text begins with a condemnation of the fool. Fool, in this context, is not about mental inability, but moral and spiritual insensitivity. To call someone a fool is considered harsh and degrading. To Jesus warns against it. You might be in danger of hellfire, as in Matthew chapter 5, verse 22. A fool says there is no God, as in verse 1. In other words, a fool has no room for God. He does not see God at work in his life. Romans chapter 1, verses 18 to 20. The lifestyle of a fool is that of corruption and abominable works. Verse 1. Proverbs 26, 12 describes a fool as a man 
wise in his own eyes. Of such, there is no hope of eternal life. Verses 2 and 3 express the state of an adulterous generation. The Lord looks down from heaven to see if there is one who does righteously, but there is none, not even one. God is still looking on to you to preach to the dying souls in this perverse and adulterous generation. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30. The salvation sought for in verse 7 came through our Lord Jesus Christ who delivers from the captivity of sins. Are you rejoicing in the freedom he gives? Foolishness at heart. A fool at heart ignores godly counsel, disobeys God, gives himself or herself to negative emotions. It is quite clear that a fool at heart is ignoring what God has put as common conscience of men. In Luke chapter 12, verses 16 to 21, we read there an account of one who behaved foolishly. Luke chapter 12, from verse 16 to verse 21. And I read, then Jesus told this parable. There was once a rich man who had land which bore good crops. He began to think to himself, I haven't anywhere to keep all my crops. What can I do? This is what I'll do, he told himself. I will tear down my bands and build bigger ones where I will store my corn and all my other goods. Then I will say to myself, lucky man, you have all the good things you need for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and enjoy yourself. But God said to him, you fool, this very night you will have to give up your life. Then, who will get all these things you have kept for yourself? And Jesus concluded, This is how it is with those who pile up riches for themselves but are not rich in God's sight. The account of this rich man was that of ignoring God. He was all to himself. So we find in a fool some characteristics that we must guard against. A fool avoids those who correct him or her and cleaves to flattery like Saul, the king Saul, did in the Bible. Number two, a fool seeks counsel from the ungodly. Such ungodly people might be rich, influential, but they are ungodly. Number three, a fool believes solely in himself and disregards God. Number four, he despises any notion of judgment consequent upon his actions. He thinks nobody can judge him. He believes life begins and ends with what he thinks, what he chooses, and what he does. 
God has no place in determining his fate, he thinks. Instead, he, he thinks the things that happen, happen by chance, or at best, by scientific laws. Therefore, he has no concept of pleasing God. He is and lives to himself. That is self-worship. Today, you will do well to know that God who creates you has also ordered the way you should live. And that disregarding what God has ordered for you is lack of wisdom. Do not live to yourself, but live unto God who has created you in his own image and likeness. Then you will be fulfilled both in the sight of man and God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 33 and 34. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 33 and 34. We read, thus, it says, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. Do not. Bad communications, bad companies, ruin good character. Come back to your right senses and stop your sinful ways. I declare to your shame that some of you do not know God. Now, there are many people who have ignored God. And if you live by their example, then you have chosen folly. If you live by their example, then you have chosen to disregard God. And that's unwise. You cannot despise your maker and expect that life will all be well with you. God calls you this day to come out of everything that disregards God, everything that leads to disobedience to God, and turn to Him. And I believe as you turn in obedience to God, God will make your life glorious. God will make your life attractive. God will make your life honorable. I would like to pray with you, knowing and believing that you will take to the instructions of God never to be foolish at heart. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word and we commit your people unto you, asking that you give them wisdom, the wisdom of heart, the wisdom to deny themselves of things that are sinful. There shall be no foolish moment in your life. Child of God, today I pray in your thinking, your talking, your eating, your clothing, your relationships, you will be free from foolishness. The yoke of foolishness is broken. You and your family shall be acknowledged by God himself as wise and shall be acknowledged by men as those who fear the Lord in all your ways. Salvation shall mark your life and many shall be saved through your wisdom of knowing God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain.
If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.